Hello, I am Professor Rakshiladitya Rakshit. The topic of this module is Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice CPCJ. To introduce the topic, the CCPJCJ was established by the Economic and Social Council or the ECOSOC in 1992, in Resolution 1992-1 as one of its subsidiaries bodies. The CCPCJ's mandates and priorities are laid down in ECOSOC Resolution 1992-22 Commission Guides, the activities of the United Nations in the field of crime prevention and criminal justice and also reviews. The Commission guides the activities of the United Nations in the field of crime prevention and criminal justice and uh, also reviews UN standards and norms in this area. Learning objectives. After completing this module, readers should know and understand the CCPCG's role within the United Nations Crime Prevention and the Criminal Justice Program Network as well as its framework the functions of the Commission, the structure and organs of the Commission. Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice The Vienna based functional commissions of the ECOSOC, the Commission on Narcotic Drugs and the Commission on Crime, the Prevention and Criminal Justice are the governing bodies of the United Nations Office on the Drugs and Crime UNODC. CCPJC is a part of the UNODOC which belongs to a larger picture of the United Nations. Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice. The program network is developed to assist the international community in strengthening cooperation in the field of crime prevention and criminal justice. The mandates of the CCPCJ thereof is of direct relevance to the broader policies of crime prevention and uh, criminal justice and action to foster development. In 1991, the UN General Assembly adopted the statement of uh, principles and programs of action of the United Nations Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice Program. The framework within which the CCPCG is placed is understood.
as the United Nations criminal policy may strike many as an anomaly. The UN is an intergovernmental organization that does not have the powers to define what behavior is deemed to be criminal. The crime prevention and the criminal justice except in the form of draft treaties or to interpret criminal provisions. The resolutions adopted by the General Assembly and the other bodies are not legally binding. This would give rise to the questions as to how then can such a body have a coherent criminal policy. The international cooperation in crime prevention and criminal justice underwent a fundamental shift as member states realized that closer cooperation in responding to international crime is in fact in their own self-interest. Now, crime prevention and criminal justice, the CCPCJ has thus evolved into a forum for heated debates. So, and what are these heated debates on? On what issues the United Nation or the United National Program, the most important task facing the CCPCJ is deciding what work needs to be done and the priority issues of the United Nations. Crime prevention and uh, criminal justice system necessitates. This is especially done through establishing and allotting broad priority themes during each of its sessions and having an elaborate discussion on it. Part C of the module will explain in detail about these sessions. Functions offers the United Member States a forum for the exchange and the exchange of expertise experiences and information in order to develop national and international strategies and design of more effective policy lines in the fight against crime ensure the coordination amongst other bodies of the UN 
and deals with the preparation of the United Nations crime. The Congresses whose declarations are transmitted through CCPCG and ECOSOC to the General Assembly for approval. The outcomes of the Congresses are them implemented into action, but the CCPCJ through the adoption of resolutions. It works in tandem with many institutions under the United Nations Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice Program Network and also may be working groups for thematic discussion. In 2006, the General Assembly adopted a resolution 61 of 252, which led to the further expansion of the mandates of CCPCJ and enabled it to function as a governing body of the UNODC. The UNODC approves the budget of the United Nations Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice Fund which offers resources for technical assistance in the field of crime prevention and criminal justice across the globe. The further functions are serve as the preparatory body to the United Nations Crime Congresses. The membership, the CCPCJ is composed of 40 member states elected by the ECOSOC. The term of office is three years. The General Assembly resolution of 46 slash 152 and ECOSOC resolution 1992 slash 1, a state of 20 new members are elected for a three year term in those years, in which the term of 20 current members expires. The distribution of seats among the regional groups is as follows. There are 12 for African states, 9 for Asian states, 8 for Latin American and Caribbean states, 3. The membership as continues is 4 for Eastern European states and 7 for Western European and other states. The members as of 1st January 2015 are Argentina, the Bahamas, 
Belarus, Brazil, Cameroon, Canada, China, Colombia, Czech Republic and the Democratic Republic of Congo, Ecuador, El Salvador, Eritrea, Germany, Ghana, Indonesia, Iran, Italy, Japan and Kenya, Liberia, Mauritius, Mexico, Morocco, Namibia, Nigeria, Norway, Pakistan, Peru, Qatar, Republic of Korea, Russian Federation, Saudi Arabia, Sierra Leone, Slovakia, Switzerland, Thailand, UK and Northern Ireland. The United States, America, Zimbabwe. The sessions. Members of the Commission meet annually for a maximum period of 10 days for regular sessions objectives is to provide policy and guidance to UNODOC. End of each year, the CCPCG meets at a reconvened session to consider budgetary and administrative matters as the governing body of the crime prevention and criminal justice program. The Commission puts forth a provisional agenda for the upcoming session, which is then approved by the ECOSOC. The sessions are conveyed to finalize the provisional agenda of the commission to address organizational and at the same time substantive matters. The sessions and to provide continuous and effective policy and guidance. In 1992, the CCPCJ established three broad priority themes for the UN. They were crime prevention and criminal justice. program. These were national and international transaction, transnational crime, organized crime, socio-economic crime and the role of criminal law in the protection of the environment. urban crime, juvenile crime and violent crime, improvement of the criminal justice system. The commission would identify four or five pressing issues and request that the UN Secretary General prepare a report on what is known
on the various sessions. And the experience and the good practice of member states and other entities. Once a report is submitted on this, usually within one or two years, the commission would then recommend a program of action for member states and then move on to new issues. The prominent themes for the last four sessions of 2012 to 2015 of the Commission as decided by the ECOSOC were the 21st session of 2012 is violence against migrants, migrant workers and their families, 22nd session 2013, the challenges posed by the emerging sessions and forms of crime that have a significant impact on the environment and ways to deal with it effectively. The 23rd session 2014 international cooperation in criminal matters. The 24th session of 2015 follow up to the 13th United Nations Congress on crime prevention and the criminal justice expert groups and working groups. The commission often uses internal working groups or at times intergovernmental expert groups in order to study the needs in certain domains more practically and also to propose appropriate measures since CCPCJ's inception, the following groups have been established. One is the open ended intergovernmental expert group meeting to develop supplementary rules specific to the treatment of women in detention and in custodial and non-custodial settings. Then you have the open-ended intergovernmental expert group meeting on strengthening access to legal aid in criminal justice systems and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime Commission on Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice which is there in Vienna and then the open ended intergovernmental expert groups meetings on civilian private security services. 
Furthermore, there is the open-ended intergovernmental expert group on protection against trafficking in cultural property and the open-ended intergovernmental expert group meeting to develop a draft set of model strategies and practical measures on the elimination of violence against children. In the field of crime prevention and criminal justice. Then you have the open ended intergovernmental expert group in meeting on gender related killing of women and girls in 2013 and the general assembly adopted the resolution of 68 slash 191 taking action against gender related killing of women and girls. This resolution requested the Secretary General to convene an expert group meeting to the discuss the means and the methods and these means and methods was to effectively prevent, investigate, prosecute and punish gender related killing. This group was to take a more practical view drawings on then current best practices in consultation with relevant UN entities and human rights mechanisms. And the open ended intergovernmental expert on group meetings on the United Nations standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners, standing open ended intergovernmental working groups on the improving the governance and financial situation of the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. Thus, it can be summarized by saying that the Commission on Crime Prevention and the criminal justice CCPCJ is the principal policy making body of the United Nations in the field of crime prevention and criminal justice. It guides the activities of the United Nations in the field of crime prevention and criminal justice and also reviews the UN standards and norms in this area, including their use and applications by member states action by the Commission is taken 
also resolutions and decisions. The CCPCJ is composed of 40 member states which are elected by the ECOSOC for a term of three years. The members meet annually for a maximum period of 10 days which are called the regular sessions. The objective of these meetings is to provide a policy guidance to UNODC during the intersessional meetings. The Commission does not hold a general debate, but rather a what is considered a thematic discussion on a priority issue identified at its previous sessions. This commission in furtherance of its objectives often uses internal working groups or intergovernmental expert groups. These groups help study the needs in certain domains on a more precise level and also to propose appropriate measures. Thank you.